Hi there, ladies and gentlemen. Big Six here. We're going to be counting down the top tidal pools of the Cape Peninsula. First up on the list is St. James Pool, just outside of Cork Bay. Very posh area, expensive houses. Popular early morning swimming spot. You can see the nice colorful houses in the background. Nice crisp winter's morning. Good to get the fl blood flowing. Here's Main Road. A lot of traffic here, so you get a bit of noise. But once you're in the pool, you don't really hear it. Next on the list, we have the Toffee Pool, Dalbrook. A lot of high net worth individuals are bathing here, and a few hippies as well. Favorite with Cork Bay residents. It's one of the smaller rock pools of the Cape Peninsula, but very well attended, very popular, clean, nice part of town. One of the safest ones to go to. Good to go during the week, because on the weekend it gets very, very busy there. It's the kind of place to see and be seen, so to speak. a bit chilly there. Number three on the list is at one of the best pubs in the Cape Peninsula, Brass Bell. Would you know they got their own rock pools? Two of them. Here we got the Brass Bell. resplendent. Great for skimming a rocker you'd imagine. This is probably the least frequented pool. So if you're looking to do lengths without being bothered, this is a good place to come. And if you want to have a couple of pints and get wet afterwards, it's also a great place to come. Yeah, you can see just one person swimming at the moment. Positively gorgeous here. One of the biggest rock pools of the Cape Peninsula here. It's Brass Bell Pub. Yeah. Careful, it's slippery, yeah. Almost lost it. Beautiful down here at Brass Bell. Rock pool. I see Cork Bay in the background. One of the biggest in the business. Hopefully I don't get smashed by the waves. Just gorgeous. Gorgeous. Damn right, brother. In terms of water quality, there are a few splotches of algae and moss in the corner. I think they have the winter splotches there, but generally speaking, it looks very clean. And you can have a pint afterwards. What could be better? Next, we have Woolies Pool. Submarine out there. Bit of Wim Hof going down there. This is one of the more chilled ones. Oh, 
there's a few chocolates knocking up and down now. Keep themselves in order. Here you can see Glencairn Beach and the rock pool right in front of us. It's becoming quite a popular pool of late. The area in general is on the up. Bit of a busy main road though, but you can hear it from the pool. Not the deepest pool, but it's really good for lens, long, safe here, not much crime, touch wood. And you've got the beach right next door. And the pub, or there's the pub McNally's and Eat Surf Yoga and Pizza Kaya just over the road. So have a swim and grab some lunch afterwards. Beautiful people at Cape Town are out getting healthy. Love it. There's one of our submarines. Yet to see one of these below water. I guess you wouldn't see it if it was below water, but it seems to spend most of its time above water. Come on, that's a bit cheeky. There's Fisher Beach. Mystery pool, ladies and gentlemen. This location. That's one of my favorite pools, Mystery Pool. Go Miller's Point. Down at Miller's Point. One of the bigger tidal pools. You'll likely have this one to yourself during the week. It does tend to get quite windy. Yeah, you can see slime is down. The best day for it. To find shelter behind a rock. Nice little slide there for the light is Good place for a kiddies party. At this point, always a bit breezy here, and you're likely to have the place to yourself. I just said that, mate. A little mate. bit derelict around the area, but the actual pool itself is great for swimming. It's fishing here. But you'd want to come with a group just to keep eyes on the place. Managing to interrupt myself. Crystal clear water. With myself. Any fish in here? It's a bit spooky here. Uh, well, tell me if you think this is Beautiful. spooky. Proper kelp forest they are as well. This is kind of an area where octopus teacher would be shot. Oh, I tell us by flockers. Nice work, my son. It's a big one, ladies and gentlemen. Slunkop. Caravan Park. Home to one of the best tidal pools in the Western Cape. And they got another one over there. Two of the best. Mate, he's camping right by the, the tidal pool. 
living the dream. Look at that. Two for the price of one. Gorgeous. Nobody in there. What a backdrop. I prefer the look of this one almost. They both look pretty cool. Atlantic Ocean. Pretty frigid in there. That's why the rock pools come in handy. It kind of warms the water up. Slunkorp Lighthouse. And then finally, well not finally, number nine on the list. Komaki Rock Pool. Yeah, we came here at low tide. This is probably the most tidal and probably the most natural of the pools we've got on the list so far. Yeah, there's a view of Komaki Beach. Dustbins in display. And finally we have Strunken Team Pool, one of the biggest Definitely the biggest pool so far. Yay. Not dead. Phelps would have a problem getting from one end to the next year. It's very, very big. So here we are, ladies and gentlemen, at the final pool at Strandfontein. The biggest and arguably one of the most beautiful. Uh, it definitely has the most potential. It's just uh, areas a bit uh, questionable. Anyway. There we go. Perfect wave to break over the wall. Get a nice one. <laughs> Does it get busy here on the weekends? That's lekker. Friendly fisherman. <laughs> Fishing weather. This place is packed in summer, especially over New Year's. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, 10 of the best tidal pools in the Cape Peninsula. Catch you next time on Africa Sideways. Peace.